But we'll go with a breakfast and a dinner and we'll just have a main meal of a night time. How do you do that? Well, we should struggle with how to do it. <laughs> Guys, it's Emran, and I have been joined by Michelle, which is not her real name, right? Just to give you guys an insight on why certain people have to use a food bank. Okay, I'm going to be asking some questions to Michelle. Michelle, thank you for, first of all, joining me. Right, yeah. how, how long have you been using the food bank for, the Salma food bank? Uh, well, it was from last year, and I think it was about May time we heard of it, because I found it on the actual website. And the Asda's yeah, website, okay. the Asda one, yeah. Okay, and tell me, right? For you, why have you had to use the food bank? That's the first question. Um, well, it was mainly bills and that, and really everything gets high, and because of like water bills as well, and like the electric going up as well, and gas as well, and everything, and everything just gets on top of you. And mm. I don't really like want to use it, but when you've got no food, you've got no choice. Okay, you know you you're talking about bills and stuff, right? How much of an increase has it been the bills? Every like a month, they wanted like because I'm with utility, they wanted me to like put 180 pound in my electric. And 180 it's, quid. Yeah. Now just just for my viewers, describe what this means to you. 180 quid is it a one bedroom flat? Is it a house? What is it? Well, it's a two bedroom house, and we don't use that much electric at the moment because I can't afford to put it in. It's an everyday mm -hmm. struggle for you to feed yourself. Uh, more or less. Mm. If some weeks we have like a good week like fortnight when we pay it i'll have a good week like i've got enough money to cover sometimes it's a bit of a struggle sometimes mm. we're only like having like beans and toast or like pasta when you when you say beans and toast and pasta mm -hmm. is that morning afternoon and night that's all you're eating well we'll go with a breakfast and a dinner and we'll just have a main meal of a night time how do you do that well we just struggle with how to do it. You're being serious? Seriously, 100%. You've got kids? No, I've got no kids that live at home. You've got no kids that live at home? No. So you would go without breakfast and lunch? Yeah. What would you do when it gets too cold? Well, my partner's got uh, health problems and if we've got no eating on, we just have to sit with quilts around us. So you would literally sit there? With quilts on, yeah. Uh, in your living room? Yeah. yeah? Anything you want to add? Mm. Anything you want to tell us that you, you think it's, it, it'll be good for the viewers? Because we're trying to, what we're trying to do in a nutshell is raise awareness yeah. of, look, the, the problem exists here in this country. Yeah. We're not talking about a third world country. Mm. I'm talking about here. Right now, this is yeah. our neighbours. I mean, if anybody else, you know, has problems with food and that, you should come here because they are got great people and they do help a lot of people out. I do appreciate yeah. you talking to me. You've heard it here first. This is, it doesn't get any more real than this. This this is an everyday occurrence. Every five minutes, I am hearing this on the doorstep. These are your and my neighbors. And you know, if we want me to eat and I want somebody else to eat as well, quite surely something needs to be done about this. We can't just carry on doing this. You're watching Imran, carry on watching The Beard of Bros.